Welcome back. I'm your host, Solgig. Hi, I'm Lucas Ferre. Okay, so our objective here is to drive away the brain. Uh, this mission can be annoying. We don't need to take our partner. She won't get harmed in this mission. Or the next one for that matter. Basically, we just leave her the hell alone. Uh, you'll find this. It's a little lighter on the ground, so pick it up. Of course. You picked up lighter. Light a fire to attract the Shibito's attention. There are two crawlers in this hut. Do not go in there. We will deal with this later in the second mission, but you don't want to mess with them. We do need to mess with the crawler on the bridge. There he is. Beat your ass. Well, I'm sure these people won't have any anger management problems after they're done. They'll have spent all their anger beating up all these enemies. So, gasoline, gasoline is dripping from the chases. We want to obviously... Uh, there we go. We obviously want to light the gasoline. Aim, defeat, Shibito Brain. Um, this isn't tough. It's not hard. It's annoying because the brain, we have a melee weapon only, and the brain currently holds the championship to, uh, foot races. So, it's just going to be much the luck of the draw, so I'm going to, well, I wanted to get that license. Where is it? There we go. Shiro Miyata's driver's license has been added to the archive. Yeah, we'll catch up with him. He can only go so far. Uh, he probably... Yep. He will stop at certain places. He will stop, um, where our partner is almost always. So what you do is just kind of... Ah, darn it. Jesus, he's fast. Basically, you just gotta chase him around and try to hit him. Not tough, because all the enemies are attracted elsewhere, but just that certain piece of annoying. So now, actually, we're going to be mean. Boom. Darn it. Yes. Sadly, we're not going to be able to take advantage of that one hit. And I think the enemies respawn health, too. Ah! Great, now I'm chasing him around in circles. Um, yeah. There's no better way to do this. You just gotta trap him either somewhere around here or in the hut. And then kill his ass. I've had some times where he will just stop moving. He won't move at all. For whatever reason. never really known why he just all of a sudden stops but he does no darn it almost had him oh god he's going into the hut okay so don't go into the first door he goes into we're gonna try to cut him off if you go in there you'll probably deal with the crawlers and we don't want to deal with those guys not unless we have to. So make your way upstairs. If you're quick enough, we'll block him off. Oh, he's just kind of... Yeah, you're not going anywhere. Yes! Yeah, you just gotta cut him off. Or you'll stop moving at a certain point and you'll be able to win. There you go! Mission accomplished. The entire village has been dragged into this other dimension. And us along with it. This is not reality, nor is it the underworld. It's somewhere in between. What's wrong? 
What are we going to do? We have nowhere to go. What are you complaining about? You don't like this village anyway. <laughs> People here are weird, but anybody would be living in a place like this. Come on, let's get out of here, and you won't have to see your strange brother again. You? I have a name. Kioya. <laughs> Thanks, Kioya. I just came to get you back. Continue to next loop. So that didn't seem to go too well, did it? He's being awfully quiet. Something up over there? Not really. Mm -hmm. Just being especially quiet. Just tired. Okay, so we've got the same one. This time we've got to do a bit of a harder mission. Um, yeah, we've got to deal with those crawlers now. Got to wait for the mission objectives to load up. Mission objective two, acquire 38 caliber revolver. Hint to unlock another stage. Make a trap for Officer Ishida. So, we've got to defeat the crawlers. The problem about the crawlers is that they're very tough. They can kill you in two hits, which is one less than the normal amount, but they're definitely not the easy type. I'm kind of praying this goes well. Um, and the other problem is that when you alert one, both of them will be alerted. So if you deal with one, you're dealing with two. Oh god, oh god. Yes! Okay. Whew. Yeah, I don't make it look tough, but it's all kind of timing-ish. You'll get better at it. So we need the key that's now stuck in between the floorboards. You picked up key to power distribution box. Yay. <laughs> so what we need to do is walk along this way, go this way, and go out the opposite door. If you look at the map, uh, you can find the power distribution boxes on the other side in that room. I usually don't look at the map because you guys can probably tell where the things are instead of looking at that confusing map. Okay, so here's the power distribution box. It is locked and cannot be opened. Maybe we should unlock it. Use the key to the power distribution box to unlock it. It is unlocked. Now we gotta open. There's a panel that controls the flow of electricity. So pull lever down. Well, see, we turned off electricity to a puddle of water. Now we're gonna trigger a cutscene. Oh no! Is that the police officer? Yes, it's the climactic showdown between the police officer and Kiyoya again. Um, yeah, he's gotten a lot uglier. So what we need to do is sight jack him. Here he is. Good, he's moved on. Um, watch out for the crawlers. They sometimes will find you somehow. If they do, you'll have to fight them again. You better hope to hell you can do it. So break the sake bottle. And what we need to do is run back up here to the distribu power distribution box and wait for the officer to take a nice drink. 
And there he is. Let's push the leveler lever up. Mmm, fried officer. Got wings? Yeah, he's a flyer now. He's gotten more butt ugly. Luckily, he doesn't have a rifle, just the piss, the little revolver. So, go over here and pick up the revolver and we're done. Yeah, the crawlers are just annoying. It just takes practice. Which I have plenty of. You have taken the 38 caliber revolver. Kiyoya Suda, Day 2, 2000. Requirements for Mission Objective 2 fulfilled. Mission 2 accomplished. Why are you running away? Someone wonderful is waiting for you. You... <laughs> continue to next loop. So yeah, we just continue on here. And save. We're going through quite a few stages. So what's next up on our list of fun? Not that. Oh, there we go. Oh. Okay, so there's going to be a little bit of audio, um, video editing with this stage because this stage is just very long to do without it. I usually don't do it for these double missions because there may be something different, but ugh, with how long you have to wait, no thank you. Also, like, it's 12 minutes in, yeah. so... Find Beaded Doll. Escape from Abandoned House. So this is going to get complicated. Basically, you're going to play... You're going to play up to the point where you go up to the master bedroom, but you won't yell to get... to get Tomoko's attention. Uh, we are going to pause, and I will get us magically to that point in time. See you soon. Wait. Okay, we're back. Um, like I said, basically do it the same way. Um, what you'll want to do at this point is to hide in the closet, and we will. Uh -huh. You picked up key to storeroom, so now you've got to make your way down to the storeroom. Uh... This is not as difficult as it would make it seem. You're probably going to alert Tomoko either way, so just run like hell to the boarding room. And now, hide in the closet. Tomoko's going to come, but she can't... She won't be able to find us. Even if she chased after us, which it seems she is not... ...wanting to do. But everybody's moving down the hallways now, so I ain't doing crap. Um, basically, wait till everybody goes back to their, um, she goes into the hall doing the drawings, the mom goes to the kitchen, basically when the halls are free. So I'm going to pause again and we're going to get to the storeroom real quick like. Just wait for the cycle to repeat itself. Fun. Hey, look where we're at. Use the key to storeroom to unlock it. Uh, make your way into the storeroom. Beaded Daw has been added to the archive. So if we're lucky, all of the people are still doing their own thing. Oh shit. The wife is not doing her thing. Okay, whatever. They're all out of my way. So, run up the stairs. Tomoko won't follow you off the balcony, so if you alert her, just ignore her. And now jump! Uh, 
Okay, and we're gonna complete this mission next part. Laters.